Hey, what's up, Skittle Squad? Welcome back to another Dungeon Quest video. Yes, I know I haven't been working on Dungeon Quest as hard as I did lately. Forgive me, guys, but there's so many games to try out. Anyways, I'm here back once again, and this time I'm going to be showcasing a maxed out mage loadout with the brand new legendary for you in this video. Of course, before I begin, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and without further ado, let's get this show on the road. And without further ado, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright folks, as you can see right now, I'm rocking the brand new mage set. One of my previous video, I wasn't really sure about the mage armor piece, so I kind of messed that up. But this time, I'm for sure, this is the brand new mage armor set. With the brand new legendary as well. Yes, it has this really weird looking staff kind of root kind of staff. And he looks like Robin Hood, doesn't he? So we're going to go up into the advanced dummies and I'm going to showcase what I got for you guys. Opening up my inventory. Yes, I did promise a maxed out mage loadout and I'll explain that in a bit because we are pretty much maxed out first off i'm going to unequip my gray natural mage armor for a inventor mage armor plus 30 that has a butt ton of stats yes the whole reason behind this is because i know you want to see how a new armor set looks but i couldn't get my hands on a purple one of the natural mage armor so what i have here is the inventor mage armor plus 30 with 232,000 spell power and pretty much 2.3 million health and then i got the nature mage helmet right here plus 30 222k spell power as well 2.2 million hp and then we move on to the legendary twisted wood great staff plus 30. i do know that the potential can range from 1.9 mil to 2 mil so this is kind of low on that end but i mean at the end of the day this is a plus 30 maxed out then we're gonna look down and look at the skills that we're gonna be showcasing in this video molten ball calls down a molten ball which explodes into smaller pieces scales with spell power and then we have the demonic curse curse all enemies in front of you dealing damage over time Scales with spell power as well. So we're going to test these two skills. Then we're going to compare to one of the stronger ones that has been out for boss raids so far. Let's start off with Molten Ball. I think the range is pretty high. Okay, never mind. The range is not very high. I mean, far. Throw it again. Let's try it. Molten Ball. Why is it not hitting these advanced dummies? What? Wait, maybe we need to go to a merchant. So every time if you guys can't test all your damage with advanced dummies, the merchant should be your answer. All right, come on, buddy. Help me out here. I just saw 200 billion damage. 100 bill and another 100 bill. It's a lot more than I predicted back then for my previous Dungeon Quest video. All right, now we got to go back and test out our Demonic Curse. Demonic Curse. Bam. So I think that's like 10 or 9 hits of... How much was that? 25 billion per tick? 26. I saw a 26. Did you see a 27? That's a crap ton of damage. I really like this skill, guys. So that's a crap ton of damage if you consider it overall. But now, knowing all the damage, we can kind of dish out and kind of see the cooldowns. Four second cooldown for Demonic Curse. And then for Molten Ball, that's a four second cooldown. Now we want to compare the Orb of Destruction. Because by far, Orb of Destruction has been one of the more popular skills, the more useful skills in boss raids. So we're going to try that here. And that's 45, 45. So basically, you were able to do three to four ticks of around 45 billion damage added on with a final burst around 90 billion, which makes the Orb of Destruction still the most OP mage skill so far. But of course, in this video, I will be testing out only the new skills because they are new and they're funky fresh. But going back to these new tier 30 skills, and I call them tier 30 just because they're new to the update. And honestly, you can grab them from any single tier at all, since as long as you can fight the golems, you have a chance to get them. I think these skills are very cool visually, even though they might not be the best skills out there, I still like them. And if I had to choose between the two, I would prefer Demonic Curse just because it seems to do the better damage and it seems to have a better range. Alright folks, so with that being the case, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to showcase dungeon runs like I always do. I'm going to go get into a tier 30 and show you how much DPS I do. Then I'm going to go through Steampunk's Nightmare Hardcore Solo to show you guys my DPS in dungeons. Because right now, that is the best dungeon we can possibly do anyways. Alright folks, just like any of my other videos, when I do these dungeon runs, I kind of just focus on playing and I don't really commentate. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you guys later.
All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way, make sure you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and let me know in the comments down below if you guys still want any more DQ content from me, how you guys want it, you know, what kind of content you guys expect, and hey, maybe I'll just go and make them based on your suggestions. Well, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, y'all.